What's going on guys? Welcome to my tutorial in Adobe Premiere Pro CS6. In this video I'm going to show you guys some shortcuts. So the first set of shortcuts I'm going to show you is how to go through the tools and we have them right over here. And for your first shortcut we're going to select the letter V and this selects the selection tool. So next we're going to press the letter A and that's going to give us the track select tool. Then we're going to go to B and that's going to be the ripple edit. And then R for the rolling edit tool. X for the rate stretch tool. C for your razor tool, Y for your slip tool, U for your slide tool, P for the pen tool, and then H for the hand tool, and also we have Z for zoom. Now with the zoom tool, we can press Alt to zoom out, or we could just zoom in. We can also take the equal sign for the zoom in, and we can also press minus for zoom out. So let me come over here and press home, and that's gonna take me to the beginning of the sequence. And if I want to go to the end of the sequence, I'm going to press end. Now a lot of people are on the sequence and want to try out some of the things they're doing and you can do that by pressing spacebar. I'm going to press spacebar again to stop it. The next shortcut I'm going to show you is shift K and this is called play around. This is going to allow you to play just a little bit of your video. As you saw from this portion of the video, shift K will play a few seconds and then return back to that point. So let me do this. Let me select the razor tool. And I'm just going to cut some portions of this video and let's move them around. As you notice, there's some space over here. A very simple edit that you can do is come over here, click that space, and select delete. That's called a ripple delete. And I'll do it again. Control Z, Control Z. You can also right click on this and select ripple delete. Now, some people might have a problem when you have an audio layer associated with the video. What you can do is lock one of the layers and then you can select delete over here and do a ripple delete. So I'm gonna click this window over here and press Control shift e to export a frame. So this is convenient if you wanna show people what you're working on and use a thumbnail and you have different export options. So the next thing I'm gonna do is select this video layer here and I'm gonna press F and that's for a match frame. Over here we have the snap feature. You can see I turned it off. So what I'm gonna do is take this clip and it kind of hover overs the other clips. So instead of just clicking the snap button, we can press S for snap and we can move it. So you see the clips snap together. So next I'm going to show you how to go next in sequence and that's a shift N. And if you want to go to previous, I'm going to press control P. If you're working on a project and you want to go right to the beginning and play the video, we can do control shift space and it'll automatically go to the beginning and start playing. Another easy way to go to the next edit points is just pressing the up arrow or down arrow and I'm going to press down to go to next, press up arrow for previous. Let's look at how we could preview a piece of video in itself on a timeline. So I'm going to set the in point here. I'm just going to press I for an in point and then we'll press O for the out point. And if you want to remove anything, all you have to do is press Control Shift I to remove the in point, Control Shift O to remove the out point. Or if you want to remove both, we're going to press Control Shift X and then remove both in and out points. We can also set markers here and it's very simple to do. Press M for a marker and press M again. We have two markers. The shortcut for going to the next marker is shift M and you can also press control shift M to go to the previous marker. If you want to clear all the markers, press control shift alt and M and that clears them away. Now you see that this in and out point is highlighted just on this video. What we can do is expand this in and out point. I'm going to press control shift X, removes all of them. I'm going to press I over here and then we're going to press O over here. That shows you can put an in and out point over different pieces of video on your timeline. But let me do this. Let me clear that away and just select this piece of video here and press forward slash. And that gives you an in and out point automatically just on that piece of video. Now to just play this portion of video, all we have to do is press control shift space. So one of the convenient things about Premiere Pro is you have the default transition and we have shortcuts for that. But let me start off here by setting the default transition. For audio, you come over here to the effects panel and I have constant power selected. If you wanted to change it, right click and then set selected as default transition. Next we have video transitions. Again, you can right click something else if you want to and select it as a default. Double click on your video, make sure it's in the source monitor. And the shortcut for this is comma. Let's move this clip back. I'm gonna put the time indicator as close as I can over there. Next I'm gonna press control D. Let me press play. And that's the default transition for the video. Now let's work on the audio. I'm going to lock this video layer 
and let's edit the audio. Now for the audio transition, I originally had Control Shift D, but it didn't work on my computer. So if you need to change your shortcuts for whatever reason, it's right here I change it to Control Alt Shift D. Double click on the audio, and then press comma, and then go to my edit point here, and then press Control Alt Shift D, and that adds the default audio transition right there. So that's it. Those are a lot of shortcuts in Adobe Premiere Pro CS6. Some of these shortcuts aren't available in previous versions of the software. So just double check that. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to thumbs up and share this video. I'll see you guys later. Cheers.